Hello, dear chess friends. Uh, we continue the study of uh, Russian defense and uh, the variation we will look at in uh, this clip and also in the following clips uh, is uh, third move d4, right after knight f6. Let's see how it happens. e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6 and white plays d4. Uh, the best and actually the only move for black is to take on e4 with a knight. Uh, now white plays bishop d3, black plays d5, and white has two possibilities. He can take on e5 with a pawn or he can take on e5 with knight. Uh, first we look what happens after knight takes e5. Black plays knight d7. White takes on d7. Uh, instead of knight takes d7, white can play knight c3. This is simple. Uh, black simply takes on c3, b takes c3, knight takes e5, d takes e5, and bishop e7. No problem for black. After short castle, short castle. If white decides to play f4, the only active plan for him is to play f4 and d5. Black plays f5 himself. And his position is good. Uh, another alternative is in the sixth move to uh, if white uh, plays short castle, then black takes on e5, d takes e5, and black can play knight c5. Knight c3, c6, typical reaction. The knight on c3 is always bad if black has pawns d5, c6, because this knight cannot go anywhere. So c6, knight e2, bishop e7, f4, f6. Black can afford to open the center because uh, the e file is closed and in the next move he will castle short. So f6, bishop e3, knight takes d3, queen takes d3, short castle, and the position is absolutely equal. White has no chance for an advantage. So let's see, knight takes d7, sixth move, bishop takes d7, short castle, bishop d6. Uh, the main line for white is c4, that will be the topic of our next clip, but let's see first what happens after knight c3. Black has to take on c3, b takes c3, short castle, Queen h5, two pawns are hanging on d5 and h7. Uh, to keep both of them, black has to play f5. Now, after, for example, rook b1, black can simply play b6. So rook b1 doesn't change much. After bishop g5, black plays queen, black plays queen e8, queen f3 and queen f7 with idea h6. Uh, finally, the most dangerous move is uh, rook e1, 11th. Black plays queen f6, queen f3, queen f7, bishop f4, and rook a e8. We have seen already this idea to allow white to take on d6 in order to protect the square e5. Uh, we saw it in the variation with uh, rook e1 c3. Here the same again after bishop takes d6. c takes d6. Everything is uh, defended in the position of white, uh, of black. At some point uh, black can even get some counterplay on the c file. After queen f4, black plays queen f6. After queen f3, black can go back with the queen to f7. The position is equal. Uh, finally, the last move is 11th c4. Black plays queen f6. Again, the pawn on d4 is hanging now. c3, d takes c4, bishop takes c4, bishop e6. Bishop g5, queen f7, bishop takes e6, queen takes e6, rook 
a f e1, queen goes to f7, queen f3 and f4, with idea h6 and g5. And uh, yeah, black has absolutely no problems here. Uh, that's what happens in the variation knight c3. Uh, in the next clip, uh, this is a very short variation as you have seen, uh, in the next clip we will uh, consider the main line 8 c4, which has similar ideas, uh, also taking on d5 and playing knight c3, but will be pretty much different. I thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next clip.